Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm starting a new series of tutorials on strokes. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. What is stroke? Stroke is a quite unique and very interesting pattern sequencer, which has also the ability to create um, sounds so therefore synthesis and indeed some people also refer to it as a workstation now as you can see i'm using it inside the aum so it can be used as an auv3 audio source or, or or also midi source but it can also be used as a standalone version in this first video i'm going to show you a little bit how to start getting familiar with it so that you can produce something very quickly because the interface uh, it is very simple but the first time that you actually use it it might be a little bit intimidating so let's start with an example so i will not explain all the different controls i will go into those starting from the next tutorial but i just wanted to give you an example so you can get started very quickly so at the top here you can see a number of channels channel one two three four and we have selected uh, pattern A here. And of course, you can create a different pattern. If you click and hold on pattern A, you clear. And the same you can do on the note, which is quite nice to have a, a clean state. So on the first channel here, click and hold on this box, move it up. And in Euclidean format, you're going to add steps. Okay, so in this case, eight steps. You can see here it is selected Euclidean, but you can also have it selected in the traditional step mode. Now. Press play. Now you will see it will start to play over through uh, the different channels. Um, it is a sequencer after all. You have different parameters, which again, we will go through those uh, in the next tutorial. You can see here at the bottom, a uh, scope, like an oscilloscope, which shows you activity, but you don't hear any sound. You also see activity here in these metrics for channel number one. And you can see this dot is a light and it's going through all the different steps. There are eight here. So four and four, eight is going through this eight and then it starts at the beginning. You have voice modulation here. You have also shares. And then on the right hand side, you have a selection of weights. Again, it will become much more clearer as we go through. At the bottom, you have views. The sequence of view is the default one, but you can go also the voices view. So, so for each channel, you can set, for example, an audio source, or you can split the view. The split one four shows you the first four channel for the voices, and the next one, the next four channels. So I prefer actually to uh, switch between sequence and voices myself. You have access also to additional settings here. You can import project pattern and kit and then go to export or get more information here, like accessing the manual. So you don't hear any uh, sounds, go to voices. Here where it says channel one, you see some activity. When it says off, click on it and select analog. So as you can hear, it is starting to produce some sound. You have some controls there, right? So you can detune, select square, so blend. Here you have control for envelope, the root note, the gain, the frequency of resonance for the filter you select here, then set the reverb and delay. So you have a lot of different settings, which as I said at the beginning of the video, will explain to you how to use those. But for now, let's tinker a little bit some of them. Nice, right? So let's select these uh, uh, reverb up like these and press play. Perhaps we want to lower the cutoff frequency. And the resonance as well. Really nice, right? So you can create straight away a pattern and play with it. And again, you can choose, for example, way shape, FM. Um, so you have all those uh, mutable instrument plate uh, oscillators, which is really, really nice. And um, you can have a sampler as well. So you can load uh, your own uh, samples, which is really nice. So let's go back to the sequencer now. And um, where is this here? Channel one, it says a matrix one is, uh, it says for analog is going to the pitch and the amount is zero. Let's increase that to, for example, one, like so. And then for each step here on the matrix, let's change up and down the dials while it plays, and you will hear variation. Mm -hmm. 
really nice. Now, let me show you something else. When it says here, weight, A, says frequency. So the amount is 0 0.5. So let's go up to maximum of 1. And then under here, you, this dial here for weight A you, is an offset, which you can see it will say offset here as I'm changing it. So we can change that up and down. And also here you see the weight as well, which you double click to set to right at 12 as the um, as default. So let's click on uh, voices again. Let's set this frequency down to zero, the resonance down to zero, the effect of modulation of the frequency to maximum here. Let's go to sequencer and let's click play again and let's adjust set this dial here. Really nice, right? Now, let's go to channel two and let's create, for example, I don't know, four steps, right? Let's go to voices. Let's go to channel two and load a sampler, load a sample. Let's go to my audio files here. Let's scroll down to the bottom and let's select this piano note. Okay, let's click play. going to make some adjustment here to the envelope, uh, give you some reverb, etc, etc. And then again, in a similar fashion, I change here to channel 2, and I change here on the matrix to channel 2 as well. So on the pitch for metrics two, I set this to one, similar to what we have done previously. And then I changed the dial here, right? Remember, we are on metrics two. Really, really nice. So. This is just a one simple example on how you can use strokes. I purposely recorded a short tutorial to get you started so that uh, you break the barrier on how to use the interface of strokes. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.